users. Today I will show you how to install our Google Sheets extension for Zoho CRM. It allows us to convey all of uh, the leads we have in our test database to our Zoho CRM. So here we have our pretty common installation procedure where we have to accept all of the terms and conditions installing for all users and we have to wait for a couple of seconds. We just received the notifications and have this page means that all just got installed successfully. We uh, have new models in Google Sheets where we have to set everything up to let it work. First of all we need to fulfill the field Zoho Client ID, follow the instruction, getting started at Zoho API console and creating server-based application to allow our extension to have a connection with the Google Sheets. Uh, here I would rather recommend you to enter the extension name, so it's Google Sheets extension by CRMOS. After we need to copy and paste client domain and insert that to home page URL. And the same with authorized redirect URLs. Copying and pasting. Creating the new client. And we have done it successfully. Copying client ID, inserting it back to authentication page doing the same with the client secret and we have to check our domain let's come back to our CRM page and as we see we have you domain changing and click on proceed accepting the thing from Zoho and we see that authentication procedure was completed successfully we can close this tab and as well as this console tab. Refreshing the page so it will appear on our screen. And as we can see we've done it successfully. Right now we have to create a service account for Google Sheets. It works as a bridge uh, between our extension integrated into Zoho CRM and the Google Sheets. Uh, for this we are opening uh, Google Cloud Console, creating a new project. And first of all, after Google will update all the data, we will have to enable the Google Sheets API. Clicking on the button Enable APIs and searching for Google Sheets API. Clicking on it, clicking, yeah, thanks Google, clicking on a button enable. It finally updated, and as we can see, Google Sheets is enabled. Their API works. And let's proceed creating our service bot, creating credentials for a service account, who will check all of the fields in our database. Here, my recommendation for one more time works as well, creating an account name as uh, the extension name just to Keep in mind that uh, we would not lose it. Uh, we can skip all of the next phases, click on done button, and as we can see our email account was created. Here we have to create a key, download that up on our personal computer, and upload that file to our 
extension in the settings. As we can see, it got downloaded successfully. Closing this tab, clicking on the button Upload File, choose File. Here we have it in Downloads and saving these changes. As we can see, the field has been successfully changed. Let's refresh to make sure. Yeah, as we can see, it got suc uh, successfully saved. Let's come back to copy our uh, service account email address, share the credentials to let the service account check for the fields. And adding our service account uh, to make it look for our fields and convey them up to our CRM system. The settings should look like this. Let's copy the link, go into field start downloading, enter in our link as pushing button next, selecting our sheet. Selecting a model and going forward with mapping the fields. Also, please make sure that all of the mandatory fields are inserted in the right way. Otherwise, if it uh, would not be inserted, uh, the CRM could not proceed with creating a new record in any of our modules. Let's insert all of them up. And the last one, rating. As we have here, activating download now. If it will be an already existing base, we could activate only update. And clicking on the button save. Oh, as we can see, action completed successfully. Let's check what we have. That's how our database used before. Let's refresh the page. Wow, and everything got appeared. Let's check. Here we have 46 records. And in our database we have 47 lines. First one is a functionality one with uh, the title names. And as we can see, we can have 50 records per page. Means that everything is done. All of them got conveyed. If you have left any other questions, you are always welcome to contact us. So thanks for watching and have a good day.